Hello and welcome to the Grace Kid Podcast. Thanks so much for joining us today. Uh, I have a special guest here and we can't wait to get into the story for today. But first, they need to introduce themselves. So go ahead, special guest. Uh, hi, I'm Noah. I'm in fourth grade and I'm 11 years old. And he's wearing a T-Rex shirt. Yeah. And it's super cool. Yeah. Super cool. Do you like dinosaurs, Noah? Uh, yeah. Nice. Well, today, uh, we are going to pick up with what we've been learning. But even before we do that, we have a question of the day. So, Noah, what is our question of the day? What do you want in a best friend? All right. That's a great question. So, whoever you're with, ask them the question, what do you want in a best friend? We'll be right back with our answer. And we are back. And so, uh, Noah, what would you like or what do you want in a best friend? Uh, Kind, caring, compassionate, knows Jesus, yeah, and truthful. Oh, those are good. I think I would want someone who is probably just about the same. And I like funny, too. I like Yeah, me too. Me too. Funny's great. I I I like friends who can make me laugh. So, but yeah. I agree with you. Compassionate, caring, loving, truthful, yes. honest, and love Jesus. Yeah. So, all right. Well, where we picked up last time, what we've been learning really is we've been learning about a guy named David. We've been learning about him on the podcast, at church. We've been learning him everywhere. Yeah. Everywhere we go. Yeah. I feel like we're learning about David. And so David, what, what we know about David so far is David He was anointed to be king. He was a shepherd's boy, the youngest of all of his brothers. And then he goes and defeats a giant named what? Goliath. Goliath, yeah. And it was pretty awesome. And so anyway, so he defeats this guy, Goliath. And where we are going to pick up is what happens right after that. And so what, what we learn is David... He goes and he kills Goliath. But this is what the Bible says in 1 Samuel chapter 18. And I'm going to read in verse 55 on. So it says, As Saul watched David go out to fight the Philistine, he asked Abner, the commander of his army, Abner, whose son is this young man? Young, uh, is a young man? I don't really know, Abner declared. Well, find out who it is, he told the king. Uh, the king told him. As soon as David returned from killing Goliath, Abner brought him to Saul with the Philistine's head still in his hand. It's kind of crazy. Yeah. Wow. Who would and he do says, that? tell me about your father, young man, Saul said. After David replied, uh, and David replied, his name is Jesse and we live in Bethlehem. So just off the bat, crazy. He yeah. carried a guy's head around. That is weird. Yes. But it goes on. So after it says this, after David finished talking with Saul, he met Jonathan, the king's son. There was an immediate bond between them for Jonathan loved David. So let's pause right there. So David goes, kills Goliath, and then he goes and talks to the king. And who is the king at the time? Uh, Saul. Saul. And then he meets Saul's son, whose name is who? Jonathan. Jonathan. And then Jonathan and David become what? They, they become best friends and they are both caring to each other and... Um, Jonathan pr- tries to protect David. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, they try to. He tries to protect him because King Saul. After that, that he starts to realize that David is getting all the attention. People are like, "We love David." He even said, "Like people were ch- chanting, Saul killed his thousands, and David killed uh, David his ten thousands." That is like that is pretty much what they're saying is David is way better than Saul, and so Saul Saul starts to get jealous. And quite frustrated with him. And so, in chapter 19 in 1 Samuel, it literally says, Saul now urged his servants and his son Jonathan to assassinate David. What does assassinate mean? Uh, Kill. Kill. So, did King Saul like David? No, he hated him. (laughs) Yeah, not at all. And so it says, but Jonathan, Saul's son, 
because of his strong affection for David, told David his father what his father was planning. Does that sound like a good friend? Good friend that would have your back? Like, think about this, Noah. If I said, hey, someone's trying to kill you, you should leave. Do you think I'd be a good friend for telling you? Yes. <laughs> yeah, 100% would, yes. Yeah, I would hope I would have a friend that would tell me. So Jonathan tells David, he says, tomorrow morning, he warned him, you must find a hiding place out in the fields and I'm going to go talk to my dad and I'll tell, I'll talk to him about you and then I'll tell you everything I find out. So Jonathan is essentially saying, hey, I'm going to, you got to go, you got to run away and I'm going to go talk to my dad, try to fix this thing. And whatever happens, I'll come and tell you, which is kind of like what we were talking about. A good friend. We want a friend who, who cares about us yeah. and also is honest with us. Like, could you imagine if he came to you and said, hey, uh, could you just go out in the fields for a little bit? Like, just go hide. You know, you'd be like, why? Why, why do you want me to go out into a field to hide? Because someone's trying to kill you. You know, like, yeah. you want a good friend who tells you the truth. Well, anyway, it goes on and he, he has his back. And Saul listened to Jonathan and vowed, as surely as the Lord lives, David will not be killed. So Jonathan helped out a lot. But as time goes on, Saul does not like David. And so David fled and he found Jonathan. And this is in chapter 20. He David is asking Jonathan, he's like, what have I done? What is my crime? How, how, how have I offended your father, the king? And he is so determined to kill me. And Jonathan says, that is not true. You're not going to die. He always tells me everything he's going to do, even the little things. I know my father wouldn't hide something like this from me. It just isn't so. Which makes me think, too, is that Jonathan was also reminding David. Have you ever had a bad day before, Noah? Oh, yes, definitely. Yeah. And everything it, is going wrong. It, yeah, it's like, what's going on? I'm sure David was feeling that way. And then Jonathan comes to him and encourages him. He said, hey, that's not the case. You are not going to die. He's like, Raising his spirits. He's like, no, no, no. Be strong. Like, it's not going to happen. He goes, I know everything that's going on. My dad always tells me before he does stuff. And you are not going to die. Which is what you would want in a good friend, right? Yeah. Like, good friends help you. Like, maybe when you're down, they, like, encourage you and stuff, right? So, anyway, David uh, takes an oath before Jonathan. And he essentially says, I trust you. And so... Anyway, it goes on and on. And and even David becomes king, like, and all this stuff. And then, in the end of it, uh, he goes to find Jonathan. But Jonathan has died. And David takes care, uh, takes care of Jonathan's family because of how good Jonathan was to him. So, it makes me think, in this story, how do we apply this story to our lives? What does it teach us? Choose your friends wisely. Yeah, I think that's really good. Yeah, you can't just go and pick a friend and say like, hey, buddy, you want to be my friend? And then, sure, you got to actually look at them and what they do. Like, uh, let's say uh, I see uh, somebody who looks uh, handsome and cool Ooh. and I want to be his friend and he's really popular at school. And then, and then, um... He's a big bully and he's a coward. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want that. You want to pick somebody who is nice and mm -hmm. actually wants to be your friend. Yeah. You can have friends. Yeah, like everyone can be your friend, but your best friend, you need to be wise about your best friend. Like you want someone who encourages you, is there for you, is helping you like chase your dreams and is with you, like do all these things and helps you follow God. I think that's important. So you can be friends with a lot of people, but your best friend, that one needs to be a really good one. You need to be wise about picking your best yeah, friend. Yeah, my best friend's Jacob Venable. Yeah, who's on the podcast like recently. Yeah. So, all right. So it makes me, uh, just to wrap it up, what is a, a challenge we could give our listeners? Uh, Think back to all your friends and try to find your best friend. The one that is always very there for you and... Loves you. Yeah, absolutely. Think through a, a best friend. Think through your friends. Which ones are helping me follow God and are there for me? And maybe they are your best friends and try to make them your best friends. So with that, thank you so much for listening to the podcast for today. We will see you later. But for now, we'll say bye. Adios, amigos. See ya.
If you would like more resources regarding the One Story Plan, go to visitgracechurch.com backslash one story. And if you'd like more resources for your kids, you can go to visitgracechurch.com backslash kids. We also have a YouTube channel and you can find it by searching Visit Grace Kids on YouTube. If you like this podcast, we would love for you to like, subscribe, share, and leave us a comment. We'll see you soon.